Hey, what is going on guys? Digital Millionaire here once again. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can create a completely free website in around 15 minutes, okay? This is gonna be completely free forever and it is 100% customizable. You can create whatever kind of website you would like. So without further ado guys, let's just jump into my computer. I wanna get this over and done with as quickly as possible to help you guys get your website up and running. So let's go. All right then guys, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to the description right now and click the first link that you see. That's gonna take you to webnode.com where we can get started creating this website. So go ahead and do that, go to the description and click that link. All right then, so once you have clicked that link at the top of the description and you are on webnode.com, all you're gonna do is simply click this button right here, create a website. And right here, you're gonna enter your details to register, okay? So number one, enter the name of your website. You can choose whatever website you name you want, pretty much, okay? And then register with your email address and your password. Very, very simple, takes two seconds to do this. Or you can either click continue with Facebook or continue with Google. So once you've entered your details and you have registered, you will be logged in and you can go ahead and create your website along with me. So the first thing you're gonna do is choose what type of website you would like to make, okay? So whether that be a normal website, like a blog or something like that, or an e-commerce store, okay, if you wanna sell stuff. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna create a normal website, so I'm gonna click this button right here. And this is where we get our massive list of templates to choose from. You can sort the templates at the top to whatever you like, whether it be all templates, the newest ones, the most popular, or if you're making an e-commerce store, you can click this. If you're making a blog, you can click this. So depending on what type of website you want to make, they've got all sorts of different templates ready for you. And they all come with default content to help and inspire you while you build your website. That's what I really like about these templates and every single element in the template can be edited to your liking. The text, the images, everything is completely customizable and all of the templates are fully responsive as well, meaning they will adjust to all screen sizes such as PCs and mobile devices. So go ahead and choose any template that you like and we can go ahead and customize it together. So for this example, I'm just gonna choose this one right here. You can preview it if you like, just to make it bigger and see what it will actually look like. But I'm just gonna click choose and I'm gonna start editing and customizing this website. So in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how to use Webinode to make a completely free website, okay? I am on a free plan, and you can make a very, very nice professional looking website even on this free plan. You'll see during this video how good you can make the website look. But guys, for the future, okay, for future reference, I would recommend that you to change your plan, okay? But this is only something to worry about later on, okay? For now, stick with the free one, okay? If it pops off, if your website starts going really, really well, I would recommend you to upgrade your plan. Stick with the free one as long as you can. You can do that if you want to, but you are pretty limited, okay? Your storage, you only get up to 100 megabytes, which will fill up pretty quickly, and you only get one gigabyte of bandwidth. And the benefits of being a premium user is that you will receive priority support. Okay, the support when you're a premium member is really, really good. They're very, very helpful. When you're on a free plan, they're not so great. Password protection, backup and recovery, email services, and you get a lot more as well. So if you click on choose your plan right here, these are your options, okay? But this is nothing to worry about right now. This is something to worry about in the future, okay? And it is very, very cheap. Webnode have very competitive prices. Look at this, $3.95 a month for their limited plan. Their mini plan, $5.95 a month. The standard plan, which is the one I would recommend you to get, it's only $12 a month. And you can slowly upgrade as you go along, okay? Start off on the free plan. Once that's not enough, you can go ahead and go to the limited plan. If that's not enough, you can upgrade in the future to the mini plan and so forth, okay? Until one day, your website's getting a lot of visitors and you are gonna need this professional plan. But like I said, for now, stick with the free one. Uh, this, you can make a really, really nice website. You're gonna about to see in this video. 
So this is our website as it stands right now. I haven't customized or edited anything at all. Okay, this, I've just clicked the template and this is what it looks like. Like I said, they fill it with content for you to help you and inspire you. So WebNotes Editor actually makes use of four different types of tools, which I'm about to show you. Okay, the first one is this. This is for customizing the design of your website. Okay, you can choose different headers and stuff like that right here and different images. Uh, others create and edit the layout of the sections of the website. Okay, just like this one right here. Okay, you've got a few different options uh, in there. Some add content like text, images, videos, or forms. Okay, that would be ones like this. Okay, this right here. If I can click plus, here we go. Here I can edit images. I can add some images. I can add some just lines if I want to like break up the website a little bit. Entirely up to you. Okay, and at the top here we have pages. This is what you can click if you want to edit the menu of your website. So let me quickly show you how you can edit the text on your website first of all. Very simply, double click on whatever part you would like to edit and now here you can just change it to whatever you like. So for this example, I'm just gonna put my YouTube channel name, Digital Millionaire. Okay, that's all you need to do. You can make the text bold if you want to. Okay, so highlight whatever you want first. You can make it bold. Uh, you can make it italic if you want to. Again, you have to highlight it every time you wanna change something right there. Okay, you've got lots of different options in this toolbar. You can put bullet points and numbers and stuff like that. Obviously for the title, you're not gonna to wanna to do that, but for other content later on, you might want to. And if you want more options, click this downwards arrow right here. And if you wanna make the title bigger or smaller, just click this plus and minus symbol right here, and it will adjust the size. Next up to change the header image, all you're gonna do is uh, to select this settings icon right here and you can choose from a big list of images, okay? You can also click this button, add image, and you can find even more in here, okay? So WebNote has a huge variety of images for you to choose. They have images, they have videos, they have patterns or solid colors, entirely up to you which you would like to choose, or you can also upload your own images right here under My Images. So to add the image to your website, just simply choose whatever one you like and click it and boom, it automatically applies it. I've chosen a cute cat for this example. If you would like to customize the header image at all, again, click that same settings coil button right here and you can click on effects. And here you can choose different filters for the image. You can choose different color overlays, different positions add animations. You can do a lot of different things on here. You can also crop the image to however you like. Okay, if you want a different crop on it, go ahead and change it just like this. You can also add new sections to your website that have more space for all types of different content. Okay, so this will allow you to change the layout of your website, add some variety, and even add attention grabbing titles to your site. Okay, so to do this, just click the plus button right here to add one. Okay, for this example, I'm just gonna add some services right here. So once again, you can customize these to your liking. Okay, so again, if you wanna edit the text, double click on whatever part you want and write whatever you want. For this, uh, okay, it didn't work. I'm just gonna type subscribe right here. Okay, so that's what you can do. You can click the text to edit this if you want to. You can also add some images, you can edit the text, and you can add some links, which you will definitely need to do. If you want to move, these things around, okay? Click on whatever element you want and hover your mouse until you see this little like arrow thing right here. And you can drag and drop and place it uh, wherever you want, okay? So I'm just gonna put this one uh, down here for now. As you can see, the subscribe button has now moved. If you would like to delete some elements, just click on whichever one you want and click the delete. Are you sure? Yes, delete that and there we go. That one is now deleted. You can also delete any sections that you don't want so you can make space for other ones that you want to add. Okay, so to do that, just click the setting button on whatever whatever uh, element you want to delete, whatever section you want to delete. Click this and you can click this delete button right here and boom, that one is now gone. One really cool feature that I like is to add a price list. Okay, so this is gonna be perfect for if you're selling something or maybe you're making a menu on your website. This price list is great. Okay, so just click on, the, uh, on this to add a new section. Click on price list. Again, you can customize this if you want to. You can write menu right here and we can change the text on these parts. We can, if maybe we have a, 
we have a pizza or something like that, right? Maybe we're selling a pizza. You just click this and write pizza. You can change the prices right here. Uh, and if you want to, if you want to add more menus, you can click this plus and it will keep adding more and more different elements right here, more and more different things on your price list. If you would like to edit different pages on your website, just scroll to the top and choose whatever page you would like. So I'm going to click on the articles page right here. So if this is a blog website, all your different blogs would be under here. So again, you can edit this to your liking, customize it however you want, just like I showed you on the home page. One of the best things about Webnode's editor is their drag and drop capabilities, okay? So what are you gonna do? Again, let's just click this plus and I'm gonna add some text and image right here, okay? So again, you can change this image if you want to, just click the edit button right here, but I'm just gonna leave it for this for now. And you can just move this around to wherever you want, okay? If you want it above the text, there we go. Just drag and drop it there. You want it below the text, drag and drop it down here. You want it in the middle of the text, put it there. And if you want to change the size of the image, just ch just go to the edge of the image and drag these sliders right here. If you would like to add some videos, maybe a YouTube or Vimeo video, what you're gonna do is click on the add content tool right here and you can add a video just by pasting in a link. So I'm just gonna click okay right here and boom, here is one of my videos, it is now on here. And again, you can drag and drop this uh, to put it wherever you would like. You can also change the size of this, make it bigger or smaller and you can customize this to your liking. If you would like to edit the menu of your website and add new pages, just simply come to the top and click on pages. Now right here, we can click add page and choose whatever type you would like, okay? Whether you want it to be a contact form, whatever you want. For this example, yeah, I'm gonna choose this contact form right here. So I'm gonna click choose. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it as, con I'm gonna change it to contact us, actually, contact us. Why is it a big S? There we go, and click on create. So here is our contact us page. Now, if you would like to make one of your pages into a sub page, again, click on the pages button and whichever one you would like to make into a sub page, just click it and drag it a little bit to the right. That's all you need to do. Make sure it's a little bit to the right, just like this. You can also change the order of your pages. Again, just drag and drop and put it wherever you would like. You can move the contact us page up here above the about me. If you would like to change the name of one part, one page, just click it, double click it, and then type in your new name. And if there's any page you don't want, you can go ahead and delete that. So if you don't want your contact us page, you can just click on it right there and click delete page. So I've just brought back in this contact us page just to show you this, okay? Look at this. If you click on the map right here and click on edit, you can actually type in whatever address you want and it, the map will actually show this to your website viewers. It'll show the address that you type in right here. You can also obviously customize this, edit this and change the address over here as well. So once you are happy with all the changes you have made to your website and you have edited it to your liking, just click the publish button and this will make all the changes to your website visible and live on the internet. So just, I'm just gonna click this publish button right here and now Webnode is publishing it. So we can go ahead and click this right here and we can check out our website. This is what it's gonna look like on the actual internet okay this is it right here this is our website that we have created and edited to our liking if in the future you decide you need to add more content to your website or you just want to change something come back to the webnode.com website and just log in okay that's all you need to do click the login button if you forgot your password click this button right here and this is where we can edit our website okay this is the website that we've just created and you can click start to edit right here and you can go ahead and edit it all over again and add whatever new content and elements that you want to. So there we go guys, that is it. That is how you can create a completely free website in just around 15 minutes. As you can see, Webnode is absolutely great even for beginners or professionals, doesn't matter who you are, Webnode has the tools that you need to create a beautiful, professional looking website very, very easily. This is one of the easiest websites, one of the easiest platforms I've found to create websites. So there's no coding involved or anything like that. It's, everything is drag and drop. It's super, super easy. You just saw how easy it was to create a website using Webnode. 
Like I said, this was a free version. I was using everything on there was completely free to do. I didn't spend a single penny and you guys don't have to either. If you're a beginner just looking to create your first website, go ahead, click the first link at the top of the description and start your website on Webnode today. And then, like I said earlier on in the video, you do have the choice to upgrade in the future. Okay, they do have other plans that you can slowly, slowly upgrade until you finally reach that professional plan. Okay, once you've got a lot of traffic coming to your website and the free one is no longer enough, just slowly upgrade as you need to. But as for this for you guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I really, really hope it helped you. If it did, please. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment down below. Comment anything at all. I love reading them and replying to all of you guys' comments. And I will catch you in the next video.